Mexico's new government wants to legalize marijuana, arguing that prohibition has only helped fuel violence, we don't want more deaths. Here's a summary of the article. The party of Mexico's president-elect has submitted legislation to legalize the possession, public use, growth and sale of marijuana in what would be a major change to the country's narcotic strategy. If the bill passes, Mexico would join Canada, Uruguay and a number of U.S. states that permit recreational use of the drug and allow its commercialization. In the 26-page bill posted on the Congress website, Sanchez wrote that Mexico's cannabis prohibition has contributed to crime and violence, adding that in the 12 years since Mexico launched a war on cartels, 235,000 people have been killed. On 10 December 2006, President Felipe Calderón, launched Mexico's war on drugs by sending 6,500 troops into his home state of Michoacán, where rival cartels were engaged in tit-for-tat massacres. Mexico's Supreme Court last week ruled that an absolute ban on recreational use of marijuana was unconstitutional, effectively leaving it to lawmakers to regulate consumption of the drug. Support for legalization has strengthened in Mexico in recent years as violence soars. Since 2006, Mexico has used military might to fight drug gangs, which have splintered into smaller groups battling over trafficking routes and territory. This post received a score of 48,279, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. My Southern by the grace of Godfather who has never drank, smoked, or done anything outside of country boy church life has been saying this for years. Take away the black market, take away the incentive for the cartel. Edit, spelling. So true, the cartels are so organized these days that the transition from black market to the open market would be easy. The only speed bump would be cross-training your hit men to have less of a litigious impact on the company. On second thought, that would be a really good sitcom premise. When I said I wanted you to take him out, I meant to dinner. Q laugh track. Ja 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 ja. Living in a Latin American country for years it took me a while to get used to the that and many spelling sounds. But my favorite was a friend pronounced joker as yoker. You must have never been to a yak in the box and order a yumbo yak. I am from Mexico. I never thought I would see the day that my country took a progressive step towards eliminating drug violence. This is great news. How does the political landscape feel like in Mexico right now? Optimistic? Pessimistic? In between? To be honest the population is split in two. The first part is hopeful that the new president will bring change for the poor and unfavored, will crack down on corruption, and the economy will flourish. The other half is skeptical of his capabilities as a leader and scared he will bring instability to the economy. As of now, it's still a toss-up on the outcome, but there definitely is a polarization of the citizens. Totally agree with you, there are lots of people trash talking about the elect President AMLO, but I'm sure we can't be worse than the last six years. I'm from Fresnillo Zacatecas one of the most violent cities in Mexico because of the cartel constant control wars. S. O. to Fresnillo I'm from Juan Aldama. Not every day you get to meet someone close to home should never have been a banned substance in the first place. The upside to legalization far outweigh the costs. Hopefully politicians in the UK will soon follow suit and pull their heads out their collective asses and let the seed blossom. Ten years minimum. Tories won't do it. The implication that the Tories will be in power for another decade is one of the most pessimistic things I've heard all week. Now they have to. Because of the implication. Legal across both borders and 10 states, 28 counting medical. Maybe that would be enough to give the U.S. a hard push in the right direction. Actually it's closer to 32 depending on what you count as a medical state. Soon marijuana will only be be completely prohibited in those remaining 18 states in all of North America. If you want to include CBD, we're looking at only Idaho and South Dakota. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.